My name is Danielle Engel, and I am a uh, postdoctoral research fellow studying pancreatic cancer. I got involved in pancreatic cancer research because about 14 years ago, I lost my father. I was incredibly frustrated because there were really no options. My dad was actually considered lucky to have lived about one year after his diagnosis. And I decided that I needed to do something about this. When I was training as a young doctor in 1994, almost everybody I admitted to the hospital I could do something for, and my pancreas cancer patients suffered. So I started asking questions about this disease and realized there was no one to talk to, and that led me down the path of research. I was involved with the diagnosis of Mark Lusgarten. When we started this foundation, there were fewer than 12 researchers in the entire country doing anything on pancreatic cancer research. Today we can say that there's over a thousand. There's no question that the research being conducted by laboratories here and across the world is having a real impact on patients' lives. Surgeons, who before would only operate on patients with tiny tumors, now are much more willing to operate on patients with larger tumors because they know our medicines are better. Now many more can be considered surgical candidates. We have also learned the causes of pancreatic cancer by studying families that have an increased predisposition to this disease. Very soon we hope to have an early detection test. Now we're moving more in the direction of what is known as precision medicine. With the organoids that have been developed for pancreatic cancer, we're able to reproduce a patient's tumor. Now, the advantage of an organoid is that it has indefinite life. With a tumor, you can test one or two compounds and the tumor dies. With an organoid, you can test an indefinite number of compounds. We've tested as many as 3,000 compounds with one patient, and therefore the patient was treated effectively. Now there are actually targeted approaches that can help pancreatic cancer patients live for many years when before they would only live for a few months. We have survivors now, not just one-year survivors or two-year survivors, but we're seeing people living for five, 10, even 15 or more years. Recently, we had our New York walk. When we started this walk about 15 years ago, we had literally no survivors at the walk. And we had a tent to accommodate survivors. There were so many of them. They are the evidence that pancreatic cancer is not a death sentence. We're going to have major breakthroughs, for example, with early detection. We can increase the percentage of patients that can have the surgery from 15 to, say, 50% or 60%. You're going to have a dramatic increase in long-term survival. Through research, we've gone from a disorder which used to just kill people, and we didn't know why, to one where it makes people sick but we do know why and we can fight. And I would like to see the public perception that all is lost, that change from this nihilistic attitude to a hopeful attitude. Seeing the research play out in terms of impacting patient care has probably been one of the best aspects of joining the fight against pancreatic cancer. 10 years ago, a pancreatic cancer diagnosis was a death sentence. Nowadays, there's reason to be hopeful with hope on the horizon for a cure.